Hello there YouTube, today I come to you with another Creality Lizard Scanner uh, update and this time I found another software for the system if I can just get it a little intact here let me stop the preview and difference between this software and the other one is huge um, the first one is Creality that I used on my last video is CR Studio Lite and the one that I found now is CR Studio when I was installing this uh, it did say that the software that's already on my PC well which is the CR Studio Lite is a newer version strange because it doesn't look like it's the newer version but uh, the one that I'm using now to test a scan in is now uh, CR Studio, which is, as you can see, black um, background. So I'm going to try to scan this knuckle duster in, which is already printed out. So let us try the initial test. And I did try to scan with this uh, my own face in and it was much more reliable and the losing track system uh, failure didn't come up as often with the CR uh, Lite uh, version. Well, the CR Studio Lite was keep on losing track uh, and I think it has to do with the software itself. Uh, so with this one I could scan most part of my uh, head in and even uh, upper body but there is still an issue which is my beard for example or my hair doesn't get picked up by the um, lizard scanner. Then I started looking up uh, from uh, YouTube to see what is uh, causing this if I'm doing something wrong or is the limitation of the machine and there was a demo video of Creality themselves which they scan a woman's face and upper body in and guess what she was wearing a hat so without telling you guys that hairs cannot be scanned in they just um, put on a hat so that they don't have to talk about the limitations of the scanner rather than they just uh, put a hat on so it does get picked up by the scanner and you have this system that is not always a rea reality based and they just don't talk about it which is kind of sad because there is a Revo Pop 2 I think um, and that scanner does scan the hair in I don't know what the limitations of the resolution of, of it is but um, I was expecting the lizard scanner to at least scan the hair on my facial um, well on my face the, the my beard or something uh, that it should be able to scan in and it doesn't which is a bummer a big bummer uh, I can't ask people to shave their face before they can get scanned in that's kind of outrageous but yeah so let's get back to the scan now I did the first scan uh, and now I'm going to place it this way and I'm gonna press append just like the on the light version of the program and now I'm gonna say scan now I'm taking the the other side of the scan in And maybe I will move it a little, well, different side. I think it's a little too tall to scan in on that distance. But this is just a demo, so let's uh, merge these two together it's a little different 
Um, what you have to do is on this side you have to put them all together so what you do is now I press a line knuckle duster duster apply so I'm saving the project and now it gave me an error message saying that at least two scan data is required so first is this one so I'm going to let me see how did I do the last time the scan oh, first scan um, well no um, So well, there is a there is a little um, site that I don't understand which is here are the two scans you can see them here but on the alignment place it doesn't come up so I'm guessing that you have to scan this one in and choose this one then it goes up here so I don't understand so let's try to scan it one more time I'm gonna say append scan the thing is that it is showing here but I think I know what the problem is I just uh, rem remember in front of the scans there are there is some uh, black uh, it's an eye with a with this crossover so you just have to click those in order for them to get visible on here. I just remembered uh, because the last time I was also searching for it. But it doesn't matter. I'm just making another, another scan. It's not a big issue. Big, not a big deal. So let's put that one in and align it together. Because I'm guessing, I'm hoping actually that this scan is going to be a little better than the... The software so I put all these three together so I'm gonna put all these in here so I'm gonna align so I'm aligning three scans in now so I'm doing auto align it should be able to do it so it did align it as you can see here it does look pretty aligned if you ask me so let's process it apply you can do as much as you want so you can scan it four or five times um, I haven't tried it. it this is the first time I'm doing three scans in and, and I have seen someone actually moving the uh, lizard whilst he's scanning in so it doesn't have to be fit somewhere you can move it around it doesn't really have to be fixed and on some parts it may be even better to have it on your hand and adjust it whilst it's scanning in but maybe this is more accurate I'm I'm not sure so the processing will take some time it does um, um, at least when you scan three uh, different scans it might take even longer but the auto adjustment uh, does work on less complicated models if you have a more complicated model like let's say this one which it would be more complicated for the scanner it might not be able to it might just um, think about uh, the edges so it's gonna show some edges together it will not be able to calculate the AI doesn't go that far uh, but if you have not so complicated models it does be it does uh, well put it together uh, most of the time like I would say it's working for 50 50 of the time so sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't 
uh, depends on the on the model itself so now it put it together it is repairing all the holes I think and everything the repair is also taking some time what I have seen is that the surface is a bit rough so um, well export process data I'm gonna say apply and I'm gonna put it on my desktop as a STL file I'm not planning on printing this again but yeah look this is what it scanned in as some imperfections but is it good enough not sure especially here it didn't scan these parts in I chose also this model because it has these very sharp corners here some of them came out well some of them didn't we haven't scanned the lower part of it but it did come out well you can see here the imperfections that I'm talking about you can easily delete those imperf in imperfections in the software itself um, it does work pretty well so um, I don't know if how to zoom in with this uh, touch screen but um, I think this what this program works better than the light version which was on the SD card this is the card that I'm talking about that reality gives with the machine there is a software on it and the software that they put on is not the software you should be using you can try both of them but I with my findings with this software the machine gets a lot better and with these scanners okay uh, I think 70% is up to the uh, specifications of the machine but at least 30% of it of the end result is really your software that's why there was also a big issue with um, um, this lawsuit of the software because they were claiming there were some codes copied all over um, from another company and that's why if you don't have the software for it to scan in your your machine your 3d scanner doesn't really mean anything you can have the best resolution the best scanners on it if your software doesn't do the part that it's supposed to do you cannot scan with it you cannot get good results with it but with this software and i'm hoping we will get more and more software updates so we can just um, have a great and better um, experience out of this uh, uh, scanner because I was kind of expecting more from this uh, lizard scanner it is well acceptable but still even with this software uh, because it's not uh, scanning hair in I would not recommend it to uh, to buy it because uh, um, other scanners are be able to scan it in even my Xbox one um, scanner which is using a different technology it does scan my hair it does scan my beard it does scan everything uh, well it is lower resolution I am aware of this but it's not about the resolution it's about the capability of scanning in and this scanner um, doesn't scan hair in uh, so I'm going to think about well putting some baby powder or something on my hair <laughs> just for science and to see if it's going to scan in I did try to scan someone's uh, hair in which has gray hair 
and still there was a problem it did, it didn't pick up so it's not about the black uh, color i think well it might be but then it should be able to scan the gray hair uh, well in but it didn't so i don't know what the limitations and maybe it's just a firmware upgrade and it will be fixed i cannot say anything about that but at the moment seeing creality using also some hat on some woman to scan it in it does uh, bring some uh, question marks about the product and its capabilities altogether anyways guys sorry for talking this much but i wanted to share this experience with you i hope you learned something and you can decide for yourself whether to get this lizard scanner from creality yes or not uh, thank you guys for watching this video hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel please if you would like to see more videos and content like this in the future bye